welcome to this new session today we are going to discuss on the topic called as non linear pharmacokinetics the basic concepts myself hasan reza will deal with the topic in details our discussion will start with an initial understanding the term of non linearity the term non linearity is synonymously used with other terms like mixed order kinetics as it is a mixture of two different order of reactions or red process that is initially first order followed by a saturated zero order kinetic process it is also called as saturated red kinetics as the process which involves results in zero order reaction as they become saturated in the due time course thirdly we have something called as non linear pharmacokinetic process that we use generally that is since it is a mixture of two different order of red process so no linear correlation is between obtained for concentration and time process i'm using concentration versus time for understanding the condition of pharmacokinetics so there is no linear correlation okay now understanding the concept of non linearity in the simplest way the explanation is given in the most layman manner so under so to make you understand the concept of non linearity consider a railway station which is having five ticket vending machines you are most accustomed to this machine as it delivers a ticket so let me consider in a most simple way that we are considering the rate of delivery of the tickets so in a given time how many tickets can be delivered is studied with total number of people who are using this process initially let us consider that there is only one person who is availing this process so obviously the rate process is as you can see the red process is increasing so one ticket is been delivered for the given time at a specific time now if you have two customers so it is very clear that within the specific time two tickets can be delivered so the rate is increasing initially it was one ticket in the given time period now it's two ticket in the given time period so it's increasing the red process so now for three you know three tickets delivered in a given time increasing for four increasing for five increasing so we can see that five customers can delegate the ticket at a time at a given time period and enable the process but think if the number of people is exceeding five it may be six 7 8 9 or 10 people who are coming for getting this process it is very clear that the process cannot deliver the tickets more than 5 at a time so how many people are there now if we increase the number of people also the process becomes saturated so the same concept is or can be applied for the various processes in our body we have a definite resource of transporters or proteins or enzymes that undergoes metabolism or takes part in or helps in metabolism so up to certain level it can accelerate depending upon the concentration of the drug as that particular amount is being exceeded by the drug automatically the process becomes saturated as in this case and therefore in that case achieves a non linearity or you can say zero order like this so initially a first order 
when the amount will be less followed by a zero order condition so this is the general concept of non linearity now let us get a differentiate between what is a linearity and what is a non linearity now when you are considering linearity it obeys the first order kinetics the pharmacokinetic parameters are not dose dependent they are independent to the dose they remains unchanged if you increase the dose or decrease the dose it is not affected the area under the curve is proportional to the dose okay it, it increases linearly or have a linear correlation concentration time profile is superimposable i will explain it what it means likewise non linearity if you consider it obeys first order followed by a zero order as i explained this is the cause of non linearity the pharmacokinetic parameters are dose dependent it changes with the amount of the dose because because of the alteration of the rate process it alters the uh, you can say it generates uh, generates or alters the rate process and that's why it affects your pharmacokinetic parameters the area under the curve is not proportional to the dose in fact it cannot be and the concentration term profile is not superimposable now let me explain the last word that is that is the last point that where i am saying concentration time profile is superimposable or not superimposed what it means let us go for it when we consider for a linear condition we can have suppose if we increase the dose of the drug in iv bolus suppose this iv bolus dose so if you increase the dose you can see that uh the these uh, you can see these lines these are the dose range of elimination rate process it is almost parallel to each other it suggests how much you increase the dose for the same drug the slope value remains constant so from the slope we get the elimination rate so elimination rate remains constant for a given process which is linear whereas if you go for a non linear process so due to the mixed order nature of the process you can see that uh, in the three different conditions you have three different uh, slopes probably the slopes are different the difference of the slopes may arise due to so this is the elimination part so there is some kind of uh, saturation in the transporters which are involved in the elimination process uh, it may be in the enzymes or it may be during the excretion process so it affects the red process when you go for uc and the time you can see our linear correlation between the area under the curve and the time but if it achieves a zero order kinetics that is in a mixed order kinetic process there is a shifting from the linearity that mainly occurs when you are have resulting in the non linear process okay now factors affecting non linearity what are the different factors affects non linearity first we go for absorption now when we say of the absorption process please see there are various things we have to make into consideration first one that is considering a condition when the drug is com comparatively less soluble or dissolution rate limited process uh example griseofulvin and you can see that the parameter which generally affects in the absorption rate process is the amount of the drug that is absorbed so in this case during the dissolution rate limited process we generally get saturated due to the less solubility of the drug example griseofulvin so it actually reduces the extent of the amount of the drug to be absorbed 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड एज कैरियर मीडिएटेड ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम नाउ व्हेन वी कंसीडर द कैरियर मीडिएटेड ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम एग्जांपल आई कैन गिव यू लाइक राइबोफ्लेविन एस्कॉर्बिक एसिड्स इट कैन बी एमोक्सिसिलिन सो व्हेन इट गेट्स सैचुरेटेड ऑफ कोर्स द parameter which is affected is the amount of the drug is getting absorbed it reduced on the other hand saturation of the gut wall metabolism example penicillin uh, if the gut wall metabolism gets saturated so the uh, the metabolism process gets reduced and more amount of the drug is achieved to abs get absorbed into the systemic circulation next if you consider that is a distribution process so the saturation may occur at two stages firstly is the protein binding site example phenyl butazone and uh, if there is a saturation in the protein binding site the factor pharmacokinetic factor affected is the volume of distribution and uh, it generally gets uh, generally the due to this Uh, what you can say the saturation of protein binding it results in the increase in the volume of distribution on the other hand if you have a saturated tissue binding example naproxen in that case it actually affects by lowering the volume of distribution next if you go for that is the metabolism process uh generally the main thing which gets affected firstly is the saturable red kinetics due to capacity limited metabolism example phenytoin which generally affects the hepatic clearance and it gets reduced in this process on the other hand enzyme induction the process may get saturated and example is carbazepine so it results in increasing of the hepatic clearance now this is i am saying elimination but actually i mean to say it's excretion process elimination means of course uh, it is a process combined process of metabolism and excretion so let me consider i'm um, what i'm saying as elimination is actually i mean to say of the excretion process so in the excretion process active secretion active secretion which is saturable due to the presence of certain drugs like penicillin g generally affects the renal clearance which gets reduced on the other due to uh, the saturation of active reabsorption due to the presence of ascorbic acid uh, the process of the renal clearance gets increased so these are main factors which affects your renal clearance uh, sorry your uh, non linearity or the causes of non linearity or the factors affecting non linearity now how we measure the capacity limited kinetics it's not a single kinetic so it was by michaelis menten uh equation by which we can express it we are well accustomed with this so the rate that is the dc by dt of reaction is equals to vmax so we know that in the case of your uh, michaelis menten uh, it is little bit different from normal linear kinetics equations so dc by dt is the rate of the decline so here we can say it is the rate of the decline of the drug concentration with the time so if it is considering the elimination the rate of decline of the drug concentration with the time we can say it next we have something called as vmax that is theoretical maximum rate of the process km km suggests a michaelis menten constant you can say that is the uh, uh, actually the substrate concentration that equals to the half of the maximum velocity okay now uh, let us go for the conditions of the correlation between the km and vmax so this is a general equation i am just mentioning once more and this is the, the graph first condition is if the km and the c is cons, uh, equal to each other that means i am considering a consider condition 
where uh, you have your uh, KM value and the concentration of the substrate value same at the same point. So it is somewhere over, you can say it's over here. So this equation if you consider, so KM equals to C. Put the value of KM over C over, KM equals to C means put the value of uh, KM over here as C. So it becomes 2C, CC cancel, so it becomes Vmax by 2. So this is the equation you are getting, okay? Next, for the next consideration, if KM is much greater than C or the C is much smaller than KM, which suggests uh, that the value is almost closer to zero over here. The concentration value is little bit away and much smaller than, is almost zero. If you consider this, <coughs> this is our second consideration. So I'm considering this almost your this uh, C value tends to become nullified, but it's not a zero. So this C can be, uh, you can say, neglected because it not affects the total addition process. And what we can write? Vmax into C by Km. So this is the equation we are getting for that. For the third consi consideration where Km is much smaller than C, that means the C value is quite higher. It's somewhere over here. It's somewhere over here. So that equation, if you see, of course, putting the value consideration, so Km value, if you consider to be almost uh, very small to be a part of a addition product, so this we can neglect. So CC will get cancelled and this becomes minus DC, DC by DT equals to Vmax. Now, what the thing you have to see, make it very clear, let us consider for this part, that is the first part, that is when Km, uh, you can say or rather the, the graph below the condition of Km, that is when Km is much greater than C, that is up from here to here, if you consider this part, it's very clear that this is following a first order. How? You can see one thing, let me make you clear. Vmax is a constant, Km is a constant, Vmax by Km is a constant, dc by dt equals to a constant multiplied by c. You know, this type of equation is a first order equation. Isn't it? So this part is following a first order kinetics. It's very clear. At this point, when your concentration equals to Km, that is Vmax by 2, so it is a constant term. You know, uh, rate equals to constant means is a zero order. So at this point, that is when Km equals to C, when it we are starting over here. So this point is the initiation of the zero order kinetic process, which further can be justified by the other part. We can say that is following a zero order kinetics. That is minus dc by dt equals to Vmax. So this is a constant. So again, rate equals to constant means it is following a zero order kinetics. So it's very clear about the rate process that my non-linear kinetics, what I'm saying, from the michaelis menten equation, I can justify that my non-linear kinetic process comprises of a first order as well as a zero order process. Now estimation of Km and Vmax, this is a very essential thing which you have to do. There are uh, three different ways, actually it is a main one way only. First one is a line weaver book plot method. Line weaver book plot method that is not a separate uh, method is concerned. Actually the michaelis menten if we do the reciprocal of the michaelis menten we get some equation like this. So this is called as the line weaver brook plot method. So in order to con uh, convert the uh, michaelis menten equation to a straight line equation, if you just reciprocate it, whatever you get is called as the line weaver brook plot. So it is considering 1 by v, that is the velocity of the rate, is your y-axis and 1 by c as your x-axis. It's very clear. So your y-intercept is 1 by Vmax. So from intercept I can get the value of Vmax. It's very easy. 
and slope equals to km by v max so km by v max if you consider the km by v max then slope equals to km by v max v max value i have already got from the straight line so km equals to slope into v max next we have so the advantage uh, we can say that this is a uh, most initial way of expressing your uh, getting the values of v max and km but uh, there is a disadvantage of line weaver blue plot and that is the points are much more clustered you can see the points are much more clustered they are clustering at almost a single place and um, so to get a much more reliable plot with the points uniformly scattered we use hans wolf plot and wolf augustin hopski plot this is little bit uh, what you can say is been taken from the line weaver brook plot only if you rearrange the plots from the line weaver brook plot we get this too is very easy so here what we are doing just multiply by c both the sides we get hans wolf plot and rearranging the hans wolf plot we get the wolf augustin plot so it's correlated with the line weaver brook plot only but the advantage is that in the case of hans wolf plot the points are much more linear and not scattered so here what we are doing c by v is a y a y axis and the c is considered as a x axis uh, so you can say that the slope is obtained the gives the value of the v max that is 1 by v max equals to the slope put the value of v max uh, and the intercept gives you km by v max so putting the value of in the intercept uh, intercept multiplied with the value of the v max gives the value of km so we can get the value of km from here directly we can also get the wave value of km at the x intercept directly we can get the value of km so either or you can take the value so no problem from the y intercept value also you can get the value of km or directly from the x intercept you can get the value of km okay next when you go for uh, this equation of course it is also a linear type but uh, it is producing a negative slope of course and the equation is between the rate and rate by concentration so of course if you see this it is very clear that from the slope you can get the value of km and from the y intercept you can get the value of v max so no need to recalculate or re uh, program the process Dir directly from the graph only you th the process will the value will be given so no need to interpolate somewhere and calculate intercept equals to v max and the slope equals to km so this is how we can determine the values of v max and km thus these are the important points that were required to be discussed regarding the nonlinear pharmacokinetics almost i have discussed the important aspects for a reference i would suggest you to go through charge uh give